বৈদেশিক মুদ্রা আয়ের নতুন দিগন্ত অফশোর ব্যাংকিং বাংলাদেশের ব্যাংকগুলোর অফশোর ইউনিটে আমানতের সুদের হার বিশ্বের সর্বোচ্চ এবং তা আয়কর ও শুল্কমুক্ত এই সুদ সহ আমানত যে কোনো সময় বিদেশে নেওয়ার সুযোগ থাকছে আর আমানত রাখা যাবে নয়টি মুদ্রায় প্রবাসী বিদেশি এবং বিদেশি যে কোনো সংস্থা এই আমানত রাখতে পারবে চলুন জেনে আসি অফশোরে ব্যাংক এশিয়া কি সুবিধা দিচ্ছে the offshore banking initiative currently being discussed which is basically uh, first the bangladesh bangladeshi diaspora who are in multiple countries they should be able to invest in a bank of their choosing and uh, we hope to of offer them better opportunities in in terms of interest rate in terms of accessibility in terms of um, other products which links their presence in Bangladesh as well as where they are currently residing. I think that's an important part. So the basic product which we are talking about is Bangladeshi and non-Bangladeshi institutions, individuals can very easily remotely without having to come to Bangladesh using fairly simple documentary procedures invest or put place foreign currency deposits in a bank so let's say that bank is Bank Asia which I personally think would be a very good choice uh, the process is simple in the sense that you can use our website uh, to open an account. The documentations can be sent via email. Uh, hard copies or photocopies may be required later, but uh, it is not immediate. Uh, the only major requirement is that the remittance comes through a legal banking channel. That is the most important thing. Other than that, uh, not much is required to open the account, and it can be done in a fairly short amount of time, between 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, you can open various types of accounts. You can open savings accounts. You can open fixed deposits of various tenors, going up to five years. And the interest rates, which is connected to uh, so far plus 1.5 percent to up to 3.5 percent. These rates are, as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, far better than you will get in USA, the Middle East, Europe, Australia, anywhere else. So the returns are extremely attractive. The other features of this is the facilities which the government of Bangladesh is providing. There are no taxes on uh, deposits of uh, foreign currency through this channel. Uh, you can even convert some of your deposits into Taka if a customer wishes to and perhaps send it to a relative. There is no tax on that either. So just in these two features uh, the benefits are quite extensive you can use internet banking and you can use other channels to access your funds and transfer your funds anytime anywhere you please so uh, accessible accessibility feasibility of opening accounts uh, the fact that many of our customers will already know a little bit about Bangladesh. Uh, therefore, their comfort level will already be there. And we hope to convince non-Bangladeshi, both individuals and institutions, about the safety track record of banks in Bangladesh. As you know, no bank has failed their international obligations in the last 50 years. So keeping that in mind, keeping the special emphasis 
which the central bank pays in ensuring that we uh, keep adhere to our commitments. Uh, I believe the value proposition we are offering to our Bangladeshi diaspora as well as non-Bangladeshi individuals and institutions is very strong. Bank Asia has an extensive, very large offshore banking unit. Uh, we deal with almost half a billion dollars uh, uh, transactions, worth of transactions at any moment in time. So if you were to look at Bank Asia's balance sheet today, you would see we have half a billion dollars worth of uh, assets and a similar amount of uh, uh, borrowings, deposits, etc. And we use these funds to support domestic companies, uh, RMGs when they're exporting, or uh, companies when they're importing raw materials through mechanisms called UPAS. We even provide foreign currency term loans. So offshore banking is a window through which we can finance both Bangladeshi as well as non-Bangladeshi companies in foreign currency. We can also create hybrid products for them. So what this window, what this opportunity the central bank has created for us is our product inventory, our footprint crosses national borders, not just through trade and letter of credits as we used to, but through actual generation of foreign currency deposits. This will help the country strengthen its foreign currency reserve, strengthen the banks, and allow us to diversify our customer base. So Bank Asia is very keen to grow this business. Our operations in the United Kingdom as well as in the USA will help us to leverage this indirectly. At the moment, their primary purposes are wage earners remittances. But we've been in talks with various companies on expanding our presence. And I'm confident that in a year or two, we should be able to offer many other products, many other features, not just from here, but through our third party strategic alliances abroad. For example, right now, the initial fe feature which most banks are offering are deposit accounts. It doesn't need to be. We at Bank Asia intend to help you invest in wealth management funds. So we are already in discussion with various globally known reputed in international organizations who can do this for you. And since the funds you deposit in uh, our offshore banking unit are in foreign currency uh, and you can withdraw transfer, access them at any time, 24-7, 365 days. Uh, the wealth management uh, facilities we intend to add will help enhance your returns even more. So in this regard, Bank Asia is better placed than most institutions, but though, although I must admit that is me being proud of the institution I am managing director in. This is a new initiative. Uh, most of the regulations in its basic form has already existed for many, many years. What the central bank has done is they have opened up the door to individuals as well as institutions residing abroad, depositing, withdrawing funds, and they've arranged uh, tax-free um, uh, arrangements for that. So these are things which are well known. The first question, the first challenge that comes to mind is, are banks in Bangladesh strong? Are they too risky? 
will the money of these customers be safe? Now, that is the first challenge we need to address. And in this regard, I've already mentioned earlier that no bank has failed their offshore or foreign commitments in the last 40, 50 years. But adding to that, let me speak about Bank Asia. We are a bank with a very satisfactory capital adequacy, which is uh, how much capital does the bank have as per the requirement, uh, as compared to the requirement of Basel. Our capital adequacy is in excess of 16% and going up. We intend to increase our capital adequacy to around 18% and considering a bank of our size, uh, among the private commercial banks, Bank Asia would be, in terms of fund under management, probably third or fourth. So a 16 to 18% capital adequacy would be very good. You've seen recent news coverage that Bank is, uh, Asia is considered a good bank in terms of its governance, in terms of its policies. This is evidenced by the fact that so many international organizations are funding the bank's offshore banking uh, operations. Many of the DFIs, DFIDs, in fact, most of them, have some sort of a relationship with us. And we are expanding those relationships, which is an evidence of their confidence uh, in Bank Asia. On other aspects, if you want to talk about liquidity, in terms of TACA liquidity, our capital adequacy is 65. So among the private banks, there are 43 private commercial banks in Bangladesh, it's one of the best. Our cost of fund, our composition of deposits is extremely well diversified, which protects us from sudden shocks. Our lending book is also di diversified and being diversified further. Uh, we are not only a corporate bank, although that's a large part of our business. We are not only a trade supporting bank, but we are also a very strong retail bank we are a very strong SME bank, we are a very strong card bank, and in digital payments and other such uh, uh, facilities, Bank Asia's presence is very well known. And in terms of agent banking, we are the largest in the country, with over 5,000 agents and 30,000 micro agents. We intend to double this book in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, we are going to add digital solutions to that. So Bank Asia is a pioneer in agent banking, but a very strong partner in sustainable financing, in green financing, in climate related transactions, initiatives, in gender balancing, so all the things you would like to see in a good bank, I think you will see them present in Bank Asia. Attracting funds from international sources, be it the Bangladeshi diaspora or non-Bangladeshi individuals or institutions, the country image, the country rating by international rating agencies is absolutely essential. On top of that, the image of good governance is also similarly extremely important. So as we enhance these, as our position in these increases, uh, we will become a more attractive destination for this particular group of products. It is not that we expect huge amounts of funds, from, especially from non-Bangladeshi sources to start flowing in. This is a process which other countries have done the same. And it takes years to 
uh, to generate the confidence which international depositors or investors need to keep their money. We intend to focus on that, not just as a bank, but from everything we have heard from the central bank, the government, Bangladesh Bank will also be working to show that the bank's governance, uh, our standards are approaching international levels. So in that regard, I expect that the first customers will be ban the Bangladeshi diaspora. For them, they are aware of Bangladesh. They are aware of who are the good banks. They are aware of the records of the banks in never failing in their international obligations. And we need to ensure that our services meet the standards which they are required to. I think you will see more and more banks like ours going for international credit ratings simply so that we can provide more comfort to them. You will see more visits by us, more road shows to not only the Bangladeshi diaspora, diaspora but also to international organizations and funds, many of whom we already have some sort of relationship. We have international funds who are willing to invest in our capital market. Perhaps not right at this moment, but uh, in the past, we had a vibrant capital market where you had large amounts of foreign investments. We hope that after the current situation has gone down, those FDIs will come back. If these funds can are willing to invest in the capital market, you will see that they will also be willing to invest in, put their funds in Bangladesh and earn a good fixed income or variable income uh, return.